Hi, I'm Colin Fletcher, Manager of Market Research, Customer Insights at GitLab, and this is the quick take for the upcoming Strategic Marketing Group Conversation scheduled for January 22nd, 2020. This is just a quick video to touch on the highlights in the presentation you'll have a link to that's chock full of more information and links that you can peruse to your heart's content, and we hope in preparation of joining us live tomorrow, where we hope you bring your questions, uh, your energy, and your, your input. Uh, we'd, we'd appreciate it. But feel free to peruse that anytime. But with that, let's get going. So we'll be introducing a couple of new team members. We've got some awards to talk about, and we need to talk about a new pivot, a significant pivot for the strategic marketing organization around customer use cases. Then we'll spend a little time talking about what's new, what we've delivered since last time we talked, and what's upcoming. So we want to welcome Parker Ennis, who joined us uh, as a product marketing manager in the product marketing team, and uh, Sarah Davila, who joined our par partner marketing team as a partner, partner marketing manager. Uh, welcome you all, and uh, couldn't be happier to have you join. Congratulations, William Chia, one of our own, being recognized as one of the top 50 product marketing influencers by the Product Marketing Alliance. Congratulations, William, that's, that's super cool. Speaking of awards, uh, just recently, uh, GitLab was named Best DevOps Solution Provider in the DevOps Dozen put on by the folks at DevOps.com uh, and an annual awards program. And just as importantly, if not more so, uh, is the recognition of one of our, our customers, Jasmine James at Delta Airlines, uh, which we couldn't be happier about, uh, and who has recently uh, spoken on our behalf at a couple of events, et cetera. But uh, congratulations, Jasmine. Uh, we're just happy to be part of your success journey. We also recently uh, uh, invested a lot of time and energy in the very successful San Francisco Commit event. Uh, we helped out with content, we helped out with track leadership, we helped out by uh, getting partners and sponsors uh, in the door for what was a really valuable uh, event for all involved. We wanted to share with everybody how uh, in strategic marketing, we identified that we needed to make a pivot to what we call customer use cases, uh, in addition to the efforts that we are managing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, as many of you know, over the last year, we spent a lot of time identifying what we were called value drivers as part of our, our messaging framework. So in other words, the, the business value that is driving customers and prospects to look to buy something, right, to solve problems. But one of the things that we realized in the strategic marketing team is that we're really missing this other layer of messaging and a go-to-market around that. And that is what we're calling customer use cases, which, which are customer problems or initiatives that, that typically involve uh, a collection of, of needs and more often than not, attract budget or have a budget assigned with them. What's really important is that they're defined in customer terms. So one of the things that we've been doing is creating a, an entire go-to-market plan around emphasizing these customer use cases, again, defined in customer terms, and really building in the assets and activities uh, that follow the buyer's journey. Uh, throughout and, and you can click on the links uh, in the presentation at any time to, to dig in more to that. As part of that effort to be able to execute on this go-to-market uh, activity, we actually need a bunch of things and we need a bunch of activities. So we spent time as a team identifying what are those key things, what are those key activities that we know we need to build out, deliver, repackage, package, uh, in order to, to support that execution along those, those use cases. It's a lot of stuff, as you can imagine. In fact, it's over 30 that we identify for each one. Uh, but we decided to go ahead and codify that, call it a bill of material so we could track our progress in being able to support the execution of, of a go-to-market around a given use case. Now, while we accomplish great things, we're also not necessarily always miracle workers. So we, we know we only have so much time, so many resources. So what we've done is we have prioritized these use cases based on input from the field, based on input from our customers, based on input from all sorts of folks uh, to kind of stage it out on a quarterly basis. And what you can see here is the first set of use cases we'll be focusing on in Q1 and then throughout the year. 
of course, subject to change depending on how that goes. Let's touch on really quick what's new. Uh, uh, on the technical marketing side, we supported the AWS uh, reInvent uh, event. Uh, we were also helping out with Commit San Francisco, and we worked with top analyst, industry analysts to increase awareness of our secure offerings. The partner and channel marketing uh, team sponsored the AWS sales kickoff recently and kicked off an integrated partner campaign uh, as well. The competitive intelligence folks uh, updated the ROI template, uh, tested it out with a new uh, prospect and up, uh, delivered some Microsoft competitive sales training uh, recently. Uh, the market research customer insights team, uh, we, we notably re, uh, were recognized as uh, fire starters by 451 uh, Research. GitLab was recognized uh, by 451, and that was a fantastic award, an industry analyst firm. We also did our first rollout of a new customer reference management tool, which is pretty great. Uh, the product marketing team uh, was heavily involved in supporting the commit event in San Francisco. They delivered a new customer deck built around our new messaging framework, and they've done a lot of the work around building out that go-to-market approach around use cases, which is awesome. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of a lot more that you can dive into at any time. I just thought I'd touch on a few things that are coming up, right, over the next, over the, in the future, right, our top three priorities. So there's two themes here across all of the teams. We are all in on supporting the upcoming sales kickoff event. And two, we are all in on building out and supporting uh, the activation of these customer-based use cases. In addition to that, we've got the tech marketing team uh, delivering uh, some additional competitive training uh, at the upcoming sales kickoff, uh, doing demos for ongoing analyst research. Uh, the competitive intelligence folks are adding and updating comparison pages, delivering new training around Azure DevOps and GitHub. Uh, the market research customer insights team. Uh, we're, we're, we're continuing to work on you know, clearing out some of our backlog of uh, customer case studies and videos, uh, as well as finishing out that rollout of that new uh, reference management tool. And on the partner channel marketing side, uh, we're launching that new AWS integrated partner campaign. We're prepping for Google Next and KubeCon EU, uh, and that's plenty. So anyway, uh, while we do a lot and we're always looking to do more and we're also always ready to help, uh, we also always need your help. And so always feel free to help us identify and connect with customers, uh, be the eyes and ears of the website, what's working, what's not, giving us feedback on what's working, what's not from a messaging standpoint, artifact standpoint, we need, to, we need to hear it, we need to work with it. And of course, if you know any strategic marketing rock stars out there that need to join the GitLab team, uh, don't be shy. Point them our way. Help us out. And with that, thank you for your time. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.